Hi guys and welcome to our new video. Today's topic will be how you can create tables in WordPress from Google Spreadsheets. So Alexander will now show us our WP Data Tables and Google Spreadsheet integration. Without further ado, we can dive in right away. Thank you. Okay, so um, in WP Data Tables, all you need to do is create a data table link to an existing data source. Uh, you can see the list here. So Excel, CSV, Google Spreadsheet, SQL Query, so on. Uh, to do that, we first need to create a sheet. So we have a, a file created here. This is a demo file you can find in our documentation. So we will just copy that and paste it um, without formatting. So paste values only in here. So in Google Spreadsheets, when we paste the data, something, okay, nope, sorry. <laughs> Let's paste the data, what's going on? No. Ah, here it is, okay. So it took some time. Um, okay, so here's the spreadsheet. We give it a name, uh, video spreadsheet, and now we have to publish the document to the web in order for WP data tables to be able to fetch it, right? Mm -hmm. So when we publish it, it asks, are you sure? We say, yep, and this is it. Do not copy this. We will not be able to see it. So copy the, the URL from the editable spreadsheet. Just right click, copy, then create a table link to an existing data source. In there, uh, select Google Spreadsheet from the dropdown and paste the URL. Simply save changes and you will see the table right here. Mm -hmm. So Google Spreadsheet provides data, which means that there is no editing here. Mm -hmm. You cannot edit the, uh, these uh, values. You can edit the values in the Google Spreadsheet. So you can change this from Bradley to Mark and uh, it will show in WP data tables. But an important thing is that there is cache and Google site, so it can take up to um, 15 minutes to see those changes. Um, as you can, so here he, here he is, Bradley is still, still Bradley McLeod. Uh, it'll take some time for this to refresh. Mm -hmm. We won't wait for that, but just so you guys know. Um, also, <clears throat> WP data table sorts by first column by default. So even though it's uh, um, Bradley was here first, it's sorted uh, in this ascending order in uh, WP data tables. Uh, you can disable sorting for this table and it will load the default sorting from the Google spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Mark is now instead of Bradley. So you can see the change. Another important thing is don't add new columns. Don't remove columns. Don't swap columns around. So don't switch places and do not rename the columns. The structure of this table is saved in the database. So if you add, remove, rename, or reorder any of the columns, this table will break. Um, before we do that, I just want to go through these uh, settings. They're basically the same as in all other tables, so you can show the table title on site, allow collapsing in mobiles and tablets, and so on. This is pretty basic stuff. You guys should already know this. Um, table tools, placeholders that can be used for filtering. Um, the new customized section where you can add custom CSS okay. and so on. Okay, so <clears throat> the most important thing is do not break the structure of the table. So if the customer yes. wants to change something on the table, create a new spreadsheet and That's then right. create a table from that spreadsheet as well. That's right. So you can edit the data inside the table. You can change all this data. You can add new rows on the bottom, but do not. So don't mess with the columns. Rows are okay, but don't mess with the columns. Okay. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we will gladly help. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in another video. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.